Even though you are working outside the minimum distance requirements, equipment failure or loss of control can cause contact. If this happens, stay on the machine. It's generally the safest place. If you have to work on the ground, work with radio signal equipment or non-conductive cables such as fiber optics. It's important to understand why it's safer to stay on the machine during an electrical contact. It involves the flowing of electricity from source to ground. Electricity will always take all paths to ground. Anything can be a conductor. Even dry wood or plastic will conduct a current if the conditions are right. But how well it conducts electricity affects its ability to hurt you. For example, a bird on a wire. When a bird lands on a single strand of wire, it is at the same voltage as the wire and will suffer no harm. There is also no path to ground. However, if the bird is large enough to touch another wire, the cross arm, or the top of the pole with its wing when it flies away, it will create a path to ground and will be killed. If contact with a power line is made, a path to ground is established. If you are the operator of a machine that contacts a power line, move the machine to break contact. If the machine cannot be moved, and there is no immediate danger from fire, stay where you are. Keep in mind that the ground for quite a distance around the machine will be energized. Warn others to stay back a minimum of 10 meters or 33 feet and tell someone to call the power company. If a fire starts and you have to get off the machine, never step onto the ground while still in contact with the machine. The object is to ensure your entire body clears the machine and that you land on your feet without stumbling. Keep your feet together and take short hops or shuffle a minimum of 10 meters or 33 feet. Separating your feet can cause the electricity to pass through your body because it will give the electricity another path to flow through.